Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Larry Ray, CEO and President of American Manganese. Welcome back to the show, Larry. Well, Jim, it's uh, been a busy day so far. It sounds like you're spending a lot of time at your pilot plant. Well, that's where I'm at right now, and uh, I'm really happy with the progress that's being made. And, you know, moving on, it's uh, just a, in a quick recap, there's been lots of news on, uh, on uh, EV cars and battery recycling. And uh, as you know, the, uh, somebody came out with a report that it will be a $92 billion business in EV cars in 2025. And the number is moving up rapidly, I think $27 billion on recycling. And that's where we are in the recycling area. We've got a uh, total circular economy solution in recycling. We get 100% of the cathode materials back. And we haven't worked out the number on the, uh, on the anode, which is the uh, graphene or graphite, but that will be coming pretty soon. And uh, But I'm sitting here with Norm Chow. We just had a meeting with some potential investors, uh, showing them the process and everything. So maybe Norm could update us on, uh, without, you know, without going into anything, any disclosure, that uh, on the pilot plan. Larry, who's uh, Norm Chow with? Norm Chow is the president and CEO of Cometco Corporation. This is his project. And... Uh, they're the guys that have worked all the miracles for us. Hi, Jim. Norm here. Hi, Norm. Good to hear you. Nice to speak to you, Jim. What are your impressions of this uh, pilot plant so far? Well, basically, um, the pilot plant is to um, kind of prove what we've already discovered on the laboratory scale, but we're treating real materials on a larger uh, continuous um, process. And um, there's uh, five phases to the pilot plant. We are working on phase one and two. What we're actually treating right now is um, basically cathode scraps that we've sourced from a supplier uh, in the United States. And uh, part of the technology in phase one is to separate um, the active material from the aluminum foil, which is part of the collection. It's treating the real material. Um, and also taking the active material and then doing the leach to do the extractions. And so far the pilot plant, basically I would say the pilot plant has proved the, proved the technology uh, on the separation, we are going to uh, consider filing for patents on the technology, um, and we've produced the pregnant leaf solutions as well. So um, phase one and two, uh, I'd say the processes are running smoothly and the concepts have been proven. We still, still have more uh, material to process. Um, but, yeah, so the pilot plan is running, running well. What Norm is saying is that the stage one and stage two have been successful. We'll be moving on to the stage three, and uh, that is the next big step for the pilot plant. So, uh, it, you know, I'm hoping that, uh, by the way, that we meet our timeline, which is that, that we'll have the pilot plant up and running and completed in sometime in May. Uh, how do you agree with that number, uh, Norm? Yeah, we're on track. Basically, phase one and two are the most uh, was theoretically the most difficult parts because we were dealing with the real material, and uh, that has been running fine. The remaining parts is um, basically treating the pregnant leach solutions, basically dissolving all the cathode materials, just the treatment of the pregnant leach solutions to precipitate out the base metal, hydroxides, and the lithium carbonates. Th those phases are... Can, I consider significantly easier than what we had in the beginning when we were actually kind of pre-treating real material uh, to do the separations. So the pilot plant basically has confirmed um, new intellectual property that we're going to be filing for, and the remaining parts, which is the treatment of the pregnant leach solutions to produce the base metals and the lithium, that I consider a, a much simpler process. So uh, we've gone through the hardest part and, and successfully. One thing that I'd like to add is that the uh, when this pilot plant is finished, we expect to have a very high purity. Uh, I don't know, 99.7, 99.9. .9. Uh, 
it, it, it'll be in that range of the materials because the feed material is already clean going in. And the recoveries uh, where you want to maintain those at 100 percent. So what uh, we have to remember is that this is a process. It's a cradle to grave environmental solution for the disposal of electric uh, vehicle or any lithium ion batteries because of our MOU with the uh, with the Dutch group, that uh, MOU will uh, allow us to start treating smaller devices, smaller device batteries, like cell phones, uh, laptops, those types. And, uh, you know, the company is really sitting on a total solution. And when the pilot plant's done, we can say that this is, this is what we get. And uh, then we can move on to commercializing the effort. Larry, can you give us a bit of background for new listeners? Okay, the, this, uh, maybe I'll get Norm, because I've done this a dozen times. It started with the manganese project. Yeah, so basically what we have um, developed is um, a technology to use our um, know-how in the mining industry, hydrometallurgical treatment, to uh, use those know-how and technology uh, to develop a method to basically recycle the expensive parts of a lithium ion battery, which is the cathode, um, just using the HydroMet process. So uh, we, get, we have a high value feed stream and we're doing the process to recover um, the materials that will go back into remanufacturing lithium ion batteries. So you're going from waste material to a high value material in a closed loop fraction. Basically, it started with our manganese project. Anybody can find out everything that's happened on our website, AmericanManganeseInc.com. They can uh, email me at lray, R-E-A-U-G-H, at A-M-Y-M-N.com. They can phone us at 778-574-4444, and uh, we are traded on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol AMY. We're traded in the U.S. under symbol AMYZF, and we're traded in Frankfurt under the symbol 2AM. Larry and Norm, thank you so much for the update. You're welcome. Thank you, Jim. My guests have been Larry Ray from American Manganese and Norm Chow from Comenco. I'm Jim Goddard. Our conversation took place on March 1st. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.